Welcome to uh, the Minnesota Vikings chat, the weekly podcast, minnesotavikingschat.com, featuring me, your host, David Erickson, and I'm with Rick Birmingham in Minneapolis. How are you doing, Rick? Very well. Very good. Rick and I uh, play football every week, so we bring uh, pr that perspective uh, as football players as well as uh, fans to the uh, to the podcast, and uh, we are all about the draft uh, this month. Uh, the draft uh, starts on April 25 and lasts for three days this year. The Vikings have several needs. They've got 11 picks in the draft, two first-round picks, um, so they've got the flexibility to move up. And uh, they've got a glaring need at middle linebacker, and we're looking at linebackers this week. So um, uh, is that LSU? He's six foot tall, uh, 246 pounds, 32 inch arm length, nine and three eighths inch hands, four six seven forty at his pro day, ran a four eight one at the combine, uh, 33 inch vertical jump, 25 run, uh, uh, reps on the bench press. Seems like a downhill player to me. Uh, feels like a two-down linebacker. Uh, I thought he was best against the run, but often out of position. Um, and it didn't seem diagnosed plays that well. Uh, too slow to cover running backs and tight ends uh, in the past game. Uh, seems to lose ground in coverage. Uh, didn't seem to have from the limited opportunities I saw of him uh, uh, getting his hands on the ball didn't seem to have very soft hands. So uh, there's that. So that, that's my take. What do you think? Uh, you know, kind of a late bloomer. Uh, he did have a year with 130 tackles. That I don't know anything about who else he was playing at the time. And he he does have a big advantage that he, he did play against the nickel um, during his at least during his last year. Um, so that's great, and the number of tackles is great. Uh, he can obviously play, and laterally, he seemed very good. Reads were good. Again, just put him in the Manti Teo category of just not an elite athlete. Of, you know, he's you know probably good inside, a little weaker outside, and again, that for me brings up the question of how different is our defense without Winfield and. What's the impact on that? I could very likely be a Viking. I could that could easily be what happens. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of picks, so uh, there's nothing preventing the Vikings from taking a couple of linebackers, given the given the uh, hole at middle linebacker and our lack of depth in the position as a whole, and and create some competition. Uh, we've got our incumbent, Adi Cole, sitting <laughs> yeah. there ready to battle for the position. So uh, there's that. Aaron Henderson. And what? Aaron Henderson. Aaron Henderson, yeah. Uh, so that's, uh, let's wrap it for this week. Uh, this has been the Minnesota Vikings Chat Podcast at minnesotavikingschat.com. Rick, you want to uh, shamelessly promote yourself? Uh, yes, I think people should share these uh, videos or yes. podcasts. Yes, That's my shameless promotion. If, if, <laughs> if you like the pro podcast, make sure you uh, like it on on YouTube. Uh, if you've got something to add, if you've got uh, some uh, linebackers you like that we haven't covered, uh, talk about them in the comments, and uh, be sure to subscribe to this. And, and give us your opinions before the draft, or it doesn't count. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is David Erickson, the host of MinnesotaVikingsChat.com. And uh, this is a wrap until next week, or probably before next week, because the draft is next week. Uh, go Vikings. Go Vikings. <laughs>